Alright, so what's up YouTube? You're watching, and I'm going to be reviewing, let's do this. guys so it's it's no uh, mystery or no unknown fact that I love the biochip RDA and it's always sitting on top of something I'm vaping at some point during the day so we're talking about cyberpunk now cyberpunk is um, a company or a gentleman and his name is Mertz Bass no, not you, Lance Bass. Get out of here. Get. Sorry. It's Mertz Bass, and he is a RDA maker out of Italy. Now, he is well known to me because I loved his first RDA, and now he's come back with the Diva. And this is a technical RDTA. Now, he doesn't call it that. Technically, it's an RTA slash RDA. Interesting how it's done. It is something unique, and this is why I really like to review stuff like this because it's something different out of the ordinary, not just your same old, same old. It's something different for once. It's unique. So let's drop down to the table. We'll discuss the Diva or the D.VA. It's Diva. Just, just get it. Don't get it twisted. But it's Diva. Let's drop down to the table. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the Cyberpunk Diva. Now, this package is a little bit of an upgrade due to their old packaging, from their old packaging if I should say. Now, I didn't mind this old packaging, it's in true high-end form, but you do get an Addy stand, which is very nice, and a polycarbonate tank that holds all your extras. Yeah, not a bad deal. I actually like this packaging. I didn't mind it. It's very high-end-esque. Now, the new packaging is very flamboyant, very nice. I like how it looks. It says Cyberpunk in nice little, uh, in nice font. And you're going to have this little logo right there. Big logo right uh, yeah. On the side, you're going to have Diva, which is the model type, and my serial number, 007. James Bond. Bang, bang. And on the back, it's going to say, Try to Find Us. Which, which is an emphasis on try, because if you don't have one of their products, you ain't getting in the group. I'm sorry. But it does say... Instagram and Facebook. So opening up the little package that the Gemski itself comes in. Nice little fold over packaging, nice aesthetics. I do like aesthetics when it comes to boxes. You're gonna have this foam mask type sponge type thing. This is gonna be where your extras are. Your RTA in RTA mode will be sitting right here. Your RDA top cap will be sitting there and well your uh, your beauty ring will be sitting here. Your RDA top cap will be sitting right here. So let's close this little box up and move on to the extras. So let's look at the first extras and the first extras you're going to see nothing because it's blurry but everything in the extra bag is right here and it's going to be all rubber o-rings and two nicely mach machined screws that actually are level and superly nice machined unlike some RDAs. So let me back out a little bit. Now, I broke everything down just a little bit to kind of show you all the moving parts and pieces. This is not included. This is actually the biochip top uh, drip tip, but I do have that here for a purpose. We're going to save the gem ski itself for last. So right here, you're looking at the polycarbonate RTA tank. Now, it's very nicely machined, and this is going to actually sit on top of your main barrel, which is right here. Now, it is single-sided airflow. Not quite sure what this is in, in length, but it's not very much. I can assure you that it's about the same airflow as the basic 1.1 or the biochip itself. So taking a look at this, it screws on here very nicely. These are some of the nicer threads I've ever seen. And it is peak. Everything is peak, 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 and polycarbonate, food grade polycarbonate. No uh, no issues with threadings. The threading on this thing is absolutely uh, perfect. So looking at this, uh, you know, I guess lid or whatever this would be called right here. Now there's a reason this drip tip is so small. Now I do want to show you it is 510 and it is 510 compatible. 
but that is there because that way you can take this off and take it off without having to take your drip tip off. Now, so there's where you're going to fill your e-juice, right here or right here. Either one, one will let the air out, one will let the e-juice go in. So this is, like I said, food grade polycarbonate. So you got to be careful when you're using citrus, citrusy e-juices or tank cracking e-juices because that may happen. Now, like I said, with this, you can take this little, uh, this little top part off, but if you use other 510 drip tips, they will work, but you're going to have to take the drip tip off when you're taking this lid off. So yeah, not a bad design. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Looking down at the bottom of this, there are two openings, and that's where your juice is going to come down to, and it's actually going to saturate your cotton through gravity, which is pretty nice, you know? You see a lot of RTAs that wick from the bottom, but this actually wicks from the top. Uh, not a lot of RTAs use this method, but there have been a few in the past, so this is not the first one to actually do that. So we do, do still need this part right here. Once you don't want to use it in RTA mode, you can actually use it in RDA mode, but you still need your barrel. Now, one thing I've noticed that makes it a little bit easier to get your top cap on this one, the screw on this one, is to take this O-ring off. But if you don't want to, you can actually still use this with it on like that. I do recommend taking the O-ring off because there is a gap, but with the O-ring off, it does sit flush. So don't be worried about that. Alright guys, so looking at the little gem ski itself, everything here you see is black medical grade peak with 316 stainless steel. Now, I don't believe it came with a Allen key, but I could be wrong, but these are the nicest threads I've really, I've ever seen on, on anything. I mean, they're so smooth, very effortless to open and close, open, well, bring them up and put them back down. So it took me a second to realize this, but... Um, this is the positive post right here, and this is the negative post right here, actually insulated with the black peak. Now, yes, you can take off your airflow guide if you would like, but, I mean, there's really no point. Now, if you put it down this way, you're going to get three stages of mouth to lung, or you can leave it full open for a restricted direct lung. And it actually performs pretty well. Um, I would say you're getting about as much airflow as the Basic 1.1 or the Biochip uh, wide open. So taking a look here, there is an O-ring that holds this AFC on. There is two O-rings right there, double O-ring holding your top cap on. So right here and right here is where it's going to squonk out of. It's going to squonk out to the right and squonk out to the left. Now on their other RDA, the Biochip, it is almost the same, um, the same function, and this is one of the best squonking RDAs I've really ever used. It'll give you just enough juice, and it will literally suck out every last drop you don't need. You got their logo sitting right there. Now flip it to the this side. You're going to have a nice looking bottom for what it is. Uh, it says Diva in my serial number, 007. Bang bang again. Um, yeah, so they only made a hundred of these, so I, this is a pretty low number, you know. And this 510, I don't recommend taking it out because I believe it'll war it'll void your warranty, so just leave it in. So yeah, let's put a build in this. And one last thing, just to show you the top cap with no O-ring, no worries, no gap, looks very nice. And you can take this 510 out, but it's going to look awfully funny with a drip tip and another drip tip sitting on top, so I recommend using it like that. Alright guys, so rather than build on this, I'm just going to show you the coil I used and what you know diameter I used I used these they are FTO8 so if you're gonna look them up somewhere they're there they are 28 gauge times 2 with 40 gauge on the outside and that's probably the biggest Clapton you're gonna want to use in this to be honest anything bigger than that you're gonna be risking you know getting too much heat in here and it's gonna be something you're not gonna want to do you know now when looking at the legs they clamp perfectly under here, so you don't have to worry about wrapping. You don't have to worry about wrapping around these posts. They actually fit very nice. Now, I would imagine if you use round wire, you could wrap if you want to. And what I mean by wrap is put your leg around and then clamp down, put a leg around, then clamp down. But for me, they sit nicely right there. Now, something I was worried about was you'll see that my negative leg is sitting on a little bit of peak. Now, I've been using this for about a week or a week or so. And it hasn't melted, there's no issues, it hasn't been that hot that I've had any issues at all. Now you're going to see here, 
where the cotton looks like it's been stepped on or pushed down, that means you did good. That means that the uh, the two little like liquid dis um, dispensers are hitting the cotton in a good place and you're not going to leak anywhere. Now you can also squonk with this as well. So if you run out of e-juice in your tank, you can squonk as well. Now I'm out of e-juice at the moment because I'm in RTA mode, but that is something to keep in mind that you can squonk. Now even if you are in RTA mode or RDA mode, you can turn your airflow down. So it doesn't have to be wide open, it doesn't have to be you know anything. You can have it halfway closed and it'll be alright. Well that being said guys, uh, I did use for cotton today as always cotton bacon. No, not Kevin Bacon, but cotton bacon. And the e-juice I chose today with this was the Hometown Hero Sundrops Passion Fruit Tea. And actually, I used to use this in a different RDA. Now it found a new home in the uh, Diva. All right, guys. So there's one last thing I did want to say before you go, we go back up on top. You'll see how the cotton looks like it's been pressed down on the edges. That means that you put it in. You put your coil in a good position to where those won't touch the the coil at all and that means you want to worry about anything touching uh, peak or you want to worry about the coil touching peak or nothing like that I don't know if you can really see it but right there you'll see it looks like it's been pushed down more than I did that means you're in a good spot that means you're far enough away from the coil and good enough away to where you're not gonna have to worry about that touching so that does look pretty nice in RDA mode but when we get back up on top I'll show you in RTA mode all right, guys. So if there's ever anything I, if there's ever one thing I can promise you guys in this world, is the fact that I'm trying to keep this short, sweet, and to the motherfucking point. All right, guys. So I'm trying not to be biased when it comes to this because you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, the biochip is one of my favorite RDAs. I'm friends with the guy who made this, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to hold back anything. I'm going to tell you everything I feel about this. So let's start off with some negatives. We're going to get those out of the way first. Uh, well, the first negative to me is if you like uh, high wattages and you like massive amounts of clouds, you're not going to like this. I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't meant for beefy coils. This isn't meant for powerhouse. This isn't meant for wattage on top of wattage on top of wattage, you know, like Rack City, Rack Rack City. It ain't like that. It's meant for low wattage, massive amounts of flavor. Um, you know, the next negative to some of you might be that it's kind of tall, but it's, you know, an RTA, what are you going to do? The last negative I really have for this, and I'm really struggling to come up with negatives, to be honest, and I know that sounds bad because you guys know how much I like this company, but I'm being honest. I'm trying to come up with negatives that I really feel like apply to this. Sometimes when you put this little uh, top lid cap on, juice may come out and you got to wipe it off. So that's a negative sometimes. That's just something that happens when you have an RTA. Other than that, I don't have any other negatives, to be honest. I mean, some of you may not like the way this drip tip looks like because it's very small. So that would be the last negative I can really say. Uh, the price may be a negative, but you have to remember that this thing is 1 out of 100. Technically, 007 out of 100 is what I got. So let's uh, move on to the positives. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of vapor production. There's not much, but that really doesn't have anything to do with... Um, the purpose of this RTA. Alright, so the flavor on this thing is very good. I do think that you're going to want to use, like I said below, 2.0 inner diameter coils or 2.5. No more than that and no, you could go less than that I guess if you want 1.0 but that's a little bit weird. Um, or 1.5. But yeah, the flavor on this thing is phenomenal. I think it's one of the best um, it's, it's really good for an RTA. Even when you drop it into RDA mode, your flavor actually goes up a little bit, but I do enjoy it more in the RTA mode because I think it looks cooler. Uh, aesthetically, I think this thing's on point. I think that he really knocked it out of the park. I like when he uses the peak and the black peak to make an RDA. I think it looks classy. I think it looks minimalistic. I like the fact that he didn't brand this. There's no branding on here whatsoever. If you didn't know what this was, you would never know. The logo is actually on the deck, which I think is cool. I think that's very nice looking. I think that's a nice touch. Uh, the machining of this thing, the threading, the screws, all of that stuff down to the finest point, it, it was machined very well. They did a very good job, or he did a very good job on machining this, and I, I couldn't ask for more in what I consider high-end. I consider this to be 
true high end and I think it lives up to that those standards that you think of when you think of high end um, the last positive to me is going to be the fact or one of the last positives the fact that you can take it into RTA mode and out of RDA mode by just unscrewing this tank putting your other thing back on you're good to go um, as far as leaking goes that could be another negative um, if you over squonk you will leak this the airflow is level with the coil so I guess that could be considered a negative so I'm sorry that I did not say that so far I haven't had any leaking I haven't had any anything coming out of the seams um, other than what I told you about this when you're screwing it down that's the only leaking I've really had I've had no issues when I run out of juice up here I squonk from below you're good to go hmm, that's a good slogan you run out of juice here you squonk below <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, that being said, guys, um, I do want to say thank you to Mertz Bass. He did let me buy one of these. This was not sent for review, but, you know, there was only a hundred of them. So it was very nice of him to let me be on that list to be able to pick one of these up for review. And yeah, um, if you had the extra cash and you can pick one of these up, I would for sure put this in your collection, even just for the collection. Um part of it. This thing is very nice and I, I like it. Um, but the true question I think you guys are all probably asking yourself, does it overtake the biochip? I'm going to say no, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't think it's as good as the biochip, but it will move into about second or third place for me and I will continue to use it. You will see me in live streams with this. You will see me in different videos on RD8 on mods using this. I do think this is a very good RTA and RDA, and I think that if you ever have the chance to pick this thing up, don't pass. Make sure you get it. That being said, guys, I want to thank you, and you know, if you ever want some, some cotton, maybe some tweezers, some e-juice, why don't you go check out Premium Vape Supply and use my discount code, whether that's here, or here, or here, or maybe even here. So yeah, um, come check us out on Mondays, where it's myself, Eric from Phoenix Vapor, William uh, from Cooper Vape, Cooper's Vaping View and a special guest. And yeah, just have some, com come to the live show, have some fun with us, just chat, bull, bull crap, why not? It's a good time, we like having you, we like talking to you. But yes, one last thing guys, I will be reaching a thousand subscribers soon and I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that I've made it this far. You know, it's no easy task to really even get to a thousand. I put in a lot of hard work and time and I've you know, met a lot of good people through it, and I really do thank all of you for supporting me and being here each week to watch my videos. But that being said, guys, I will be giving away this mod as I showed in last week's video at when I reach a thousand. I'll put the picture up somewhere. But yes, uh, thank you guys, and let's do this.